everyone, my name is Adam Karolian and this is going to be the next video in the Blade Runner Blaster build series. So now in front of me we have all of the supplies that we need to do the graphite powder technique. So I have all of the parts that are already prepped with their base colors ready to go. I set aside all of the other parts that are going to remain just the glossy black for any kind of plastic. I have my gloves, I have my filter, and I also have my reference photos. So looking at the Worldcon photos, which are really some of the best reference that we have for the Blade Runner Blaster, you can really see that there's kind of two different colors to the metal. We have on like the Steyr parts and a lot of the Bulldog parts for like the internal actual uh, revolver portion, they're more of a like blued steel. So for those, which I have in front of me here, I did everything with a base coat of glossy black lacquer. Then for all of the lighter parts, so like the butt and the grip frame, I have done in a glossy white lacquer. So we're going to have a little bit of some different colors going on in here. So now last night I did get a little ahead of myself and I did a test piece of this technique just because I was really excited and I'm very happy with the results of this piece. So I'm going to try and replicate this kind of finish on all of these black parts that we have in front of me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my filter on here. Put my gloves on. I'm just going to pour out a little bit of this graphite powder onto my work surface here. Now this stuff does get everywhere, so I really recommend covering anything that you don't want the graphite powder on. So I have my gloves, I have my sewing machine covered, I have my work surface covered, and uh, afterwards I'm going to use my shop vac and just make sure I get everything up. So I've poured out some of the graphite powder onto my work surface here, and um, I am going to start with uh, the bulldog frame here. So you can see it's kind of got a glossy black. Now I'm not too concerned overall with having it be a super smooth finish. If you look at the Worldcon photos, everything's pretty pitted on there. So I'm not gonna worry about this being absolutely perfect. But you can see I'm just rubbing the graphite powder in already. We're getting a nice patina there. And one thing that I've found that works exceptionally well to buff this is actually just paper. I'm just gonna start buffing that up. And you can see again, we're getting a really nice metallic blued kind of finish on there.
So here we have a white base of the gloss on here. And you can already see just with what is left on my gloves, we're already getting a much, much lighter finish on here, which is exactly what I wanted. Now this hasn't had as much time to cure on here, so I'm going really light. I don't wanna rub this down to the paint or to the primer on here or to the three printed parts. That's what happened last night and um, just wasn't crazy about it. But I mean, already two very nice different tones on here. And I try and maintain a grain with it as well, so it really kind of mimics uh, polishing and sanding and finishing of an actual part. So now I have everything set up on these wire trees here. So we are going to start in on doing the clear lacquer. Now the key to this is to do very light dusting was over everything. If you go on a little too thick, it will actually pick up the graphite and it will start to drip and it will take the graphite with it. So I'm just gonna do a very light dusting. Now it does look a little darker on camera. I have really dark walls in the space that I'm in. Um, so this is, Still very light in person, just with the walls, it's picking up a lot of that. 